Hey, 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 Scrappy people. Tracy Reed here today coming at you with an unboxing of my brand new collection and it is called Summer Camp and don't worry, it is not about camping, although there is a nod to camping. So if you like to camp, this is for you too. But I hate camping. I do love getting outside in the summer, especially um, climbing mountains and just getting out into the woods and being alone. And that is sort of the vibe of the summer camp collection. And the reason that I called it summer camp is because it has that sort of nostalgic retro vibe of what I think of when I think of summer camp in like the 90s, the 80s, the 70s. Um, so it's got that sort of feel to it, that sort of color palette to it. Um, but if you just want to like use it for being outside in the grass, you're going to love it too. So as always, the collection comes with 20 patterns. The patterns are available on 12 by 12, traveler's notebook size, and pattern card size in both 3 by 4 and 4 by 6. It is it has um, a set of traveler's notebook signatures and a set, two sets of um, journaling cards with eight three by fours and two four by sixes each. And then a sheet, three sheets of stickers um, that I've already got cut up and divided up here. It also has a digital kit and a set of digital stamps. We will get to the digital kit and the digital stamps here after we've gone through all the printables. So let's start with the patterns. That way we can get a feel for the collection. So the patterns, um, if you're new here, my spiel, if you're not new here, you've heard this before. The patterns come in 12 by 12, three by four, or 12 by 12, traveler's notebook, which is 8.25 by 4.25 and pattern card size. I only print out the four by sixes because you can cut a four by six and a half and get two three by fours, but it also comes in three by four. On the printable sheets for the cards, I mean, they all come in three by four, four by three, four by six, and six by four. So vertical and horizontal both ways. But on the printable sheets, you get both the vertical and the horizontal only if the um, vertical and the horizontal are substantially, like they have a pattern that has a specific orientation like this one. So like you can see, this one is suns, polka dots. So you only get one on the printable sheet. I do that so that you can save paper and ink. So here are the pattern cards. Let's put those aside and look at the big ones instead. So the color palette in this collection, let's talk about that first. It is oranges, yellows, greens and blues, grays and blacks as well, of course. This color palette is so fun and you can see that it's not hyper max masculine, but it is masculine enough uh, to use for the boys. Of course, there is no red, no pink. Oh my gosh, my second collection this year with no red or pink, um, but it is a great throwback color palette too. So if you're gonna scrapbook pictures of yourself from that era, then these will be great for you. And of course, uh, they're, it's just great for everyone, so. We have a chevron. You'll see throughout the collection that it has sort of a um, southwestern feel to it um, without getting into any sort of um, tribal-y feels. I didn't want to go that route with this collection, but it does have sort of a southwestern vibe in the patterns that I chose. I love, love, love this feather paper. So cute with these patterns orange vines of course i could not make a into the woods collection without some compasses so we've got some multicolored compass dots and then we've got a little micro dot that are actually little suns and here's what i mean oh let's start with this one so this one has pennants on it we've got blank pennants and then we also have all of the pennants from the collection and this is sort of what i mean for that retro throwback vibe with all of these cute camping pennants. And here's what I mean with the sort of Southwest vibe. There's a few papers in here that have this sort of feel to them, love it. This plaid is super duper cool too, kind of reminds me of a picnic blanket, like a camping blanket. I did not include florals in this collection except for this one paper because this one paper was sort of inspired. I was running um, I was out on a run and I often brainstorm while I'm running because it's a good thing to like distract my mind from what I'm doing. And I was running and there was grass and there were little white flowers in the grass. And so that's what inspired this paper. So rather than like a floral, it feels like a grassy sort of field vibe, which I thought really worked well for an outdoorsy kit. 
Here's another one of those Southwest inspired papers. Really fun one. Of course, you can't go into the woods without some trees. So I love this sort of simple tree pattern. Another one of the more simple patterns. Really fun. More Southwest vibes on a smaller scale. Now here is a paper that I love, love, love. It is all of the badges that I drew for this collection and we'll see them up close in the stickers here in a few minutes. But look how fun that paper is. You can print it at a larger scale and fussy cut them out or you can just, you know, get the stickers and they'll be ready for you already. Maybe my favorite paper in the collection. I had a vision for this paper and it came out so spectacularly. I hand drew all of these clouds with all of these swirls. It was just so like, it was so brain relaxing. It, I loved it. So it's super fun. So if you are the kind of person that spends the night in the woods, this one's for you. Buffalo plaid. And then of course, wood grain, boat dock feel. Another sort of the Southwestern vibe. Nice simple pattern on gray if you need something more neutral. And then the stripe for the collection. Love, love, love. Oh, I love this paper. This so much. Uh, I finished this collection so fast because I loved it so much. I had it done two weeks early. My team didn't know what to do with themselves. All right, let's look at the Traveler's Notebook signatures. So the Traveler's Notebook signatures are always a great mix of uh, designer cards, journal cards on a larger scale, and um, alternative colorways for patterns. So maybe my favorite... This would be such a great um, album opener for the for an album that you're going to do for the summer. Uh, just so simple, so easy. Just put it right in the front of your album and you are good to go. Here is another variation on that um, circle, half circle paper. I made stripes out of it. Super fun. Places I must see. So of course you can use this as it is. I made it large enough that you can use letter stickers or you know, you can write a few lines of journaling for each place or you can cut it up and use it just as labels. Sometimes you have to get lost in order to find yourself. So there's some really great phrases in this collection um, for obviously for going out into the woods and, you know, being outdoorsy, but there's also some really great snarky phrases too, as well as more neutral things. So you can adapt this collection to use for any sort of pages. Oh, I love this. So I took that chevron and made it rainbow. Here's a journaling page. You can see the grid in the background. It's kind of hard to pick up on camera, but then I love the little waves on the bottom. Enjoying the outdoors one weekend at a time. Oh, I love this one too. I almost made this a full paper because I loved it so much. There's some more of those Southwestern ornaments. Be fun to fussy cut out or just use as a background. An alternative floral. It doesn't have the little grass sprigs, but it's similar. Here's what I mean about the snark. If you're looking for me, don't. <laughs> Often when I go out into the woods, it's to be alone. And then we've got Nurtured by Nature, which you can add a photo to or you can add um, journaling to. So those are the Traveler's Notebook signatures. Next, let's look at the journal cards. So there are two sets of journal cards in this collection, of course, like always. Uh, they have a mix of journaling and designer cards, eight three by fours, two four by sixes. So sorry, you couldn't reach me. I went out to the middle of nowhere so that I wouldn't have a signal. <laughs> so again, more of that uh, Tracy Reed snark that I have become known for, which I guess is a good thing because it is who I am. Journaling card. Rome, if you want to, I posted this one on my Instagram. And uh, if you didn't sing along with it, then do you even be 52? Here we go. Nights are better under the stars. My one nod to camping. I hate camping, y'all, but I couldn't not make this card. Look how pretty it is. Then we've got a numbered list. Oh, this one has a little dot on it. I don't know if you can see it. It's not on the actual page. Uh, 
somehow escaped my notice before I printed my own set, but never fear, it's not on yours. Into the woods I go, into the unknown, today in a few words. So this one is more uh, neutral. You can do whatever you want with it. And then get lost. Second set of cards, journaling card with those pretty feathers. And then outdoorsy is so much nicer than antisocial. <laughs> the outdoors is calling. Let's go off the grid. Less scroll, more stroll. You can find me chasing the horizon. Photo of the day. I want to be where the people aren't. If you didn't sing that in Ariel's voice, are we even friends? <laughs> and off we went. And lastly, another journaling card. I like to keep uh, a good mix of simple, easy to incorporate, and then, you know, words that are funny. I always like to scrapbook funny. All right, so there are uh, around 100 stickers on the three sticker sheets included in this collection. I have them divided up so it's easy to look through them by type. So a lot less labels in this collection specifically because I had to make room for all those gorgeous badges and pennants that I made. So we've got two um, journaling circles. I don't know if you can see this one. It has a faint um, mountains and sun in the background. And then this one has the plaid. There are three journal strips. And then this tag says, not all who wander are lost. Let's look at all of the wordy bits in the collection. Oh my goodness, so many. Okay, so there's a good mix of titles and badges, pennants and word bits. So they're all mixed up in here. It says we were here, tall trees, unplug. There's, so there's one of the titles, Rome, wild. I love the back backing of the color. Or I love the color backing on here. That's what I wanted to say. Nature. Today's vibe. Keep it wild. There are some nods to like conservancy. Conservancy? Conservatorship? I don't know. Conserving the wild in this. Wanderer. Take a hike. So here's one of the pennants. And then these are what the labels look like. So we've got Adventure is Out There, Get Outside and Roam, Support Your Local Wild Places, Let's Get Lost on a Map, oh, Go Wild is what this one says, Wild Child, Play, Pause and Look Up, Go outside, let's go, camp, fresh air, discover, roam. There are some um, great phrases, like I can almost be, see this being used at like a planetarium, a nature museum, um, some things like that too. Sunshine, time to pretend I'm outdoorsy. <laughs> get lost and find yourself nature lover chase the sun the mountains are calling yeah. uh, this says enjoy the outdoors explore yeah. take a hike more explore. I love these titles. They're going to be super fun to incorporate. Under the stars. Find your true north. There's so much more world to explore. Think outside, no box required. Adventure. Beautiful. Take in the view with a hammock. Let's go on an adventure, chase the sun, one with nature, and gather around the fire. 
So those are all like the badges and the word bits and the pennants from the collection. And then there's a bunch of icons too, because I cannot let a whole collection go without so many icons that you never know how you're going to use them all. Because that's how I scrapbook. I love icons. Get out of there. Okay. So there's a bunch of, you can see down here, there's a bunch of little stars. And then there's multiple colors of these as well as the larger um, Aztec sort of symbols. And then we've also got these that you can use for layering too. Some rainbows, arrows, different kinds of arrows. Sun, another one of those. And then we've got the little trees too. And clouds, of course, and leaves. Of course, there's no florals in this collection. So there's only, well, there are, but there's not a lot. So there's just a few florals in the um, icons as well but then we've got like the tent and feathers rainbows here's the little florals so I've got one in uh, every color for you more of those here's some of the feathers super fun moon of course All these little tiny stars. I always like to think of them like enamel dots. Just an alternative. Here is another arrow and then another feather. Here are, there are one of these in every color. So we've got blue, green, orange, and yellow. And there's another one of those little orange ones. campfire more of these clouds oh, I love these clouds so much hiking boots more flowers arrows crisscrossed arrows so lots of really easy to use icons in this collection, I think. Nothing too themed that you can't just pick up this collection and use it for um, like all of your summer photos. It's not like specifically camping theme or specifically mountain themed or specifically, um, you know, swimming or beach themed like a lot of collections are. So it's gonna be super usable for you. Yeah, mountains. All right, so that is it for the printables. Let's go over to the computer and talk about the digital stuff. So these are the stamps for the Summer Camp Collection. There are 51 of them. You can see there is a great mix of icons as well as some stamp versions of those um, labels from the collection. I also made sure to throw in some extra titles like Unplug and Look Up, Let's Go on an Adventure, Into the Wild. I think that these would be great to add to um, your photos beforehand. You can make papers out of them or journal cards out of them, or you can even print or cut some of them on your, um, your silhouette, your Cricut, if you have one of those. Some of them would be really great for that too. I'm thinking I want to cut out some of those clouds on my silhouette and that Aztec sign would be really great too. So here is the digital kit for the collection. There are a lot of really great textures in this collection. Like I turned the pennants into felt. Some of the labels are stitched um, patches and some of them are enamel pins. There are um, some really great mixed media pieces. You can't really see them here, but there's some mixed media on the in the kit as well. Wood veneer, I love, love, love that big stamped alpha. I think that that is gonna be really fun to use or to print and cut and use in my, um, my hybrid layouts as well. I just, I really love this collection, you guys. It's really just um, 
my heart for summer on a page. Of course, I love, love, love the beach too. And that is going to be my July collection as something a little bit more beachy. But like this whole into the woods, get out and hike vibe is just my heart for summer on a page. And I'm really excited to use this collection. So um, if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. I'd love to see you over there as well. And you can pick up the summer camp, camp collection 25% uh, off for the first week of June 2022. There is a link in the description box below. And I'd love to see what you make with it. So if you make something with it, tag me on Instagram and I will check it out. All right. Thank you.